Now let's talk about tokenizing the words in text. By the end of this video, you should be able to explain what tokenization means and use an LTK word tokenizer. The first step in NLP is generally to split the text into words. This process might appear simple, but it is very tedious to handle all corner cases. What are corner cases? Uh, they include inconsistent use of punctuation or contra contractions or shortened versions of words. Um, they can also be hyphenated words that include characters uh, like the New York-based example here. How do we tokenize such cases? NLTK offers libraries to remedy these challenges. When we switch to our notebook in a few seconds, we will first use a simple white space based tokenizer. Then we will learn how to do it better and easier using an LTK. OK, let's now switch back to our notebook. For our tokenization example, let's use uh, the short text of Romeo. We see that the example here has some punctuations. Uh, let's go to this Romeo. And there are some punctuations like love here, love exclamation mark. And we also have, uh, for example, a hyphenated still walking. Um, if we use now the string splitter function in Python in the next line here, it will give us a list of these words. Um, let's execute that. Oh, sorry, I didn't run the line before. Don't forget to run the lines um, one after another. After line 12 or code cell 12, uh, we are going to use this Romeo text that split. Um, and let's check this output a little bit. We see that there are some punctuations with the one with uh, love or hate here. Um, and combined words like well-seeming. Um, they were all listed as one word. Ideally, we would have love in, as one word and that punctuation, the exclamation mark, as one word, or maybe we want to even remove that. But how do we remove these punctuations? Um, for that task, we need to download an already trained English tokenizer. Um, that one is called punct to come up with the punctuations. Um, let's execute this code cell. Then we can use this uh, word tokenizer to generate the tokens. So remember, before we actually used just a split operation, Romeo, dot text, Romeo, Romeo underscore text dot split, and it was what the string provides us. We are trying to do more. We are trying to actually use an LTK punct, which has um, these punctuations already defined. And we are using the word tokenize from this to come up with a list of words. Now, if we display these list of words, we indeed see that low exclamation mark we had above is separated uh, nicely. The good news is all corpora in NLTK already provides a way to generate tokenized words for each data file. So for our uh, movie database, let's go find that. Um, Words for the first positive files can be accessed uh, using the code block here. We have movie reviews dot words and positive file IDs uh, and zero is our first record. Let's execute this. Um, we have a list here, right? We have um, a list of words from that first positive records. Now that we have our words in the next set of videos, Let's see how we can use these words to build a simple bag of words model for them.